My family got COVID again because they are stupid. My whole household had COVID a while back so my mom thinks she is immune forever. Her side of the family was having an Easter party and everyone in my house but me and my BF went because we weren't comfortable with that. We know how those family members are and they never wear masks and think Jesus won't let them get COVID if they pray enough. Long story short they all, about 25 people, got it and are quarantining. My dad and mom both were sick with stomachache, and lost voice, they thought they just had the stomach flu or a cold. But now the word is spreading that everyone at the party tested positive so we think they got it again just not as bad because they had it before. My BF and I both had slight coughs and sneezing and sore throats the past few days so it's possible we have it too. I'm am so mad at my family right now because I am also pregnant and don't want to be sick. OMG this reminds me of my family. My stepdad got COVID and my mom had some delusion that they could sleep in the same bed together still. Apparently, that's what quarantining is to her, and she also thought that once you get it you're immune. On story short she ended in the hospital all because of this stupid crap. Even when she got out and she was supposed to be quarantining herself. She still didn't wear a mask or anything in the house and was inviting people over. Thankfully, I'm in the basement downstairs, but goddamn it was one of the most effed up situations I've been in. You're going to have to tell them that you can't see them again until after COVID has died down or until they are vaccinated. It's not worth risking your baby's life. Please go get tested for COVID or BF2. Depending on your results, ask your parents and anyone else in the household who was at the party to get tested as well. If they hesitate, say that you are pregnant, would be really bad for you to get COVID, so need to know if you need to isolate yourself. Even though it sounds like it's too late for that, still. I'm sorry your family is so dumb. Here's hoping you and your child change the generational patterns. My dad got COVID twice in five months. Unfortunately he couldn't avoid it since he was in the hospital the whole time recovering from the first COVID. The second COVID killed him last month. This is not something to joke with. Your family sucks. My childhood friend, 30F, who encouraged me, 30F, to leave my husband, 30M, has been trying to proposition him. I've been married for 6 years. I am currently 8 months pregnant. My husband and I have been having some problems for the past year and things were getting increasingly worse. The issues boil down to the fact that my husband has a strong personality and has had the privilege of living a life where people bend over backwards to keep him happy, and he expected the same behavior from me. I did it for the majority of our relationship. But I was becoming someone I didn't recognize, and I was tired of playing a role and feeling like my husband loved the fake version of me and not the real me. I have a childhood friend Emma who I confided in and who gave me the courage to finally ask for a divorce. As expected, my husband told me no. My husband has always made it clear that our marriage was for life so he gave me a harsh reality check on what life would look like for me if I chose to try to force a divorce on him. After a week which I spent the majority of the time crying in bed. He sent me to my parents because he thought the constant crying wasn't good for the baby and I would be happier away from him. I stayed with my parents for a month. They couldn't believe I had asked my husband for a divorce because they thought we were happy the entire time. I told them all of the things which made me unhappy and while they were supportive, they also pointed out that I was being unfair to him because I jumped too quickly to divorce and I didn't even give my husband a real chance to fix things. We started couples counseling at their suggestion. I found out during our second session that Emma was trying to proposition my husband the entire month I was staying with my parents. I just feel so stupid and like I can't trust my own judgment anymore. I thought I could trust Emma and that she had my best interest at heart, but it turns out she was just trying to get me out of the picture. I don't even know where to go from here. How do I ever trust my judgment again? How do I know when someone is being genuine? How do I make it up to my husband? Too long didn't read, dash childhood friend encouraged me to ask my husband for a divorce. It came out in our couple's counseling session that she has been trying to proposition him for the entire month I stayed with my parents. You don't need to make it up to your husband. First, 
you only have his word that Emma propositioned him. It could be true, but it's really irrelevant now. This didn't start with Emma. This happened because you are unhappy in your marriage. If you were happy, you would not have asked for a divorce just because a friend suggested it. It is okay to be unhappy in a relationship. It is okay to try counseling and work things out. It is okay if you don't want to work things out and you want a divorce. Focus on what you want and need in your marriage and what you are willing to give slash do that your partner wants and needs. Work on learning to talk things out honestly with your partner. You two may not actually be compatible. If you ultimately decide you want out and you have the legal right to a divorce, then he doesn't get to say no. So, did he tell you this before or after he found out that your friend encouraged you to stand up for yourself? Seems kinda sus. Why do you automatically know that your potential ex-husband is the one to tell the truth? Why is everything in your life being determined by what other people are telling you, even when it goes against what you had previously decided? Be aware that from what you wrote, you are the one who went to her with your feelings of unhappiness, and she gave you advice from there. Even if there's the off chance that this entire thing is some manipulative setup from your childhood friend, who'd have to have been playing the long con for what? Six years. Do you realize that she's the only one in your list of loved ones who has heard your feelings and not immediately dismissed or discounted them? Your husband and family have conditioned you to accept whatever they say as truth. That's not what love means. And couples therapy, while useful, is absolutely horribly destructive when there's a power imbalance in the relationship. Just because you approach the sessions with the intention to tell the truth and to make progress does not mean that your husband has committed to any such thing. Like sure, I don't know your life and these people and you'd probably bend over backwards until you broke your spine just to tell me how wonderful they are. They aren't being wonderful to you, and maybe you need some solo therapy to explore that, but don't run back and forth between burning bridges or you'll just leave yourself stranded. I have to be honest, some of the things you shared here about your marriage worry me more than your friend potentially propositioning your husband. The issues boil down to the fact that my husband has a strong personality and has had the privilege of living a life where people bend over backwards to keep him happy, and he expected the same behavior from me. My husband has always made it clear that our marriage was for life so he gave me a harsh reality check on what life would look like for me if I chose to try to force a divorce on him. May I ask what kind of reality check your husband gave you? What does he expect from you? Also, may I ask whether Emma has said anything about trying to proposition your husband? Is there any evidence of her doing so or is all this information coming from your husband? My abusive narcissistic ex confessed that one of my best friends had tried to hook up with him. Ended our friendship. Found out years later that it never happened, he just wanted me cut off from people who were worried about me. I'd talk to your friend, because I wouldn't trust your husband as far as I could throw him. My stepmom, 44F, is trying to destroy my 18M relationship with my dad, 73M. So, my 18M parents, 73M, 58F, are divorced but their relationship has always been amazing. They would have lunch at least once per month and could count on each other, which meant that I used to spend time with both of them daily. I have always had a good relationship with my father, I spent every summer with him, we would live and work together. About two years ago he invited me to come to live with him, which I accepted. Even with the age difference things worked out alright, we settled our differences by talking and we would spend most of our time together, no only in our spare time but we would also work together. His house, unlike my mother's, was 5 minutes from high school and 15 minutes from most of my friends, which gave me the opportunity to start having a social life. Unfortunately, I suffered an injury last July and was in bed until the end of August, which forced me to return to my mother's house, which has no stairs, my father even while I was bedridden used to come see me and when I started to be able to walk again he would take me to lunch or see the sea. He always said to me that I would return home in September when I could move again. When my dad invited me he used to have a girlfriend, 50SF, with who I had a good relationship, but they separated about a year ago. At the beginning of September my dad was interviewing some people for a position inside the company when he met someone, 44F, 
He told me that he was taking her out to dinner, so I actually called a friend and got them a table in the nicest restaurant in the region. About a week later I met her for the first time, she didn't have the best looks but seemed like a nice person, she actually remarked that my father's relationship with me was truly something amazing. I dined with her and my father two more times, in those dinners I started to notice some weird things about her, she had a lot of nervous tics and sometimes she would sound very bossy, for example my father said to me oh and om, tomorrow I will be going to X city, would you like to come with me? And she said to him hey we should talk about that at home. She moved into my father's in the same week my classes began, I asked my father if I could return home but he told me to wait a week or two so that she could get accustomed to the house, I agreed. Some days later I visited my father, I had forgotten my keys so I rang the bell, I saw her look at me and go back inside, and about 20 minutes later my dad came and opened the door. When I got inside my father seemed nervous but I figured that it was probably work related, we hugged and went to the kitchen to get some coffee and talk. While we were talking she shouted shut up, I'm trying to work, btw. My father gave her a job, my father and I moved to his office which is detached from his bedroom by just a door. We were talking about some work related subjects when I realized that his bedroom was different, there were a lot of her clothes on top of the bed and my father's family photos had disappeared. She then burst into the room without saying a thing, shut the door into the bedroom with a loud bang, almost breaking it, and left us with a mad look on her face. My father was really taken aback by this, he told me that things are rough and we continued working. About 30 minutes later she came and asked me for some help. My father told me to help and so I followed her to the living room where she told me with a smile on her face this not your house anymore, now am I boss I was really taken aback and laughed. I went for a walk with my father who told me that she felt insecure and that she saw me as a danger and that that was why she was behaving this way. He told me that they would speak and that she would start behaving herself. Some time later my father told me that he had gotten married to her, which I told him that was very strange, firstly because they had known each other for less than two months and secondly because it's not normal for women to get married in court without any party or guests. I should probably tell you that my father is easily one of the 20 richest men in my country, he might be worth from 500 m dollar to 2 Bahamian dollars, we live as usual people however, spend about 4 slash 5k monthly. Last Christmas he invited me over to have lunch with them on the 25th. On the 22nd my father called me and asked me to join them so that we could all get tested. I found this strange but agreed and we all got tested, none of us had covid. On the 23rd I bought them presents and went to visit my grandma who because of covid wasn't allowed to leave her nursing home. When I got there I unexpectedly saw my father and his wife. My father saw me with my mother and his eyes opened instantly like he had seen a ghost. My mother go the clue and went to the car but I continued on his way to say hello. When his wife saw me she grabbed him and told him to put a mask on and get away from me, he, however, hugged me and she left for the car in anger, while I was leaving I could hear her shouting in the car. I called my father on the evening of the 24th to wish him a good Christmas and he started telling me that his wife didn't want me for lunch because she was afraid of covid and that because of that I could only join them after lunch, I told him that this was bullshit but that I preferred to be with him after lunch than not being with him at all. He called me on the 25th after lunch saying that I could even join them after lunch, not giving any excuses and getting angry when I questioned him why I couldn't go. Since that day things have been going downhill, his wife has removed my number several times from my father's phone and all of our photos in his house have disappeared. My father only allows me in the house or to have lunch with him when she's out of town. When we go somewhere she tells her that he is alone and sometimes he doesn't see me or answer my calls for a week. We used to speak daily, even when one of us was away. Most days he seems very unhappy and nervous and tries to not have contact with me but when she is out of town he always invites me to hang out or have lunch and he seems very happy. Several other people have said this to me. Every time I question him on what's going on he tries to make up excuses, sometimes he says it's covid, I always wear a mask and he was vaccinated in January, sometimes he just makes up some nonsense but on several occasions, he has told me that she pressured him to not be with me. Last week my father called me telling me that my sisters, I have five half siblings that live far away, 
the youngest is 34 years old and the oldest is 53 years old, were coming over for the weekend because of the lifting of a lot of Covid restrictions on travelling, I got very excited as I haven't seen them for almost a year. The next day he called him again telling me that his wife was pressuring him to leave town that weekend so that he could run from what he had told them, one of my father most used phrases is my door is never closed to any of my children, I told him that he should either take them in or be honest to them, that running away was a cowardly thing to do. He told me that he would consider things and tell me his final decision Thursday. Thursday he called me and said that my sisters were coming but that all of us had to be tested, I agreed and bought a test. Friday I got tested and called him to ask if everything was already set up, he told me everything was okay. One hour before we were to have lunch he called me saying that I wasn't allowed to join them, I asked him why I could go and he hung up. This really affected me as I felt I was being treated like a bastard and my mother saw that, she called him and told him that he wasn't acting as a father should. Since then I haven't spoken to my father. The next day, without him knowing my sisters came to visit me before they traveled back. They told me that my father was furious, I can't figure why, and that his wife had been pretty rude to them. Monday I wrote him a letter telling him how I felt about the whole situation, that the current situation would eventually lead to us for falling apart, that I knew that he loved me and that he was being this way because of her, that in my opinion she was mining our relationship deliberately, that I thought that him suffering constant pressures from his wife to not be with his children wasn't right, that I hoped we could find a solution to all of this and telling him that I was always available to talk to him. I got a common friend to hand it to him when he was alone but he hasn't told me anything yet. I would be very thankful if you guys could try and help understand the situation, all and any comment will be well received. Yes, sorry for the text being huge. I was going to get my car, which he gave me, from the mechanic this afternoon, but according to the mechanic he went there early and took my car. After reading most of your comments I decided that I should probably add some context to the whole situation. My grandfather grew up without a father, his father died in the Spanish Civil War, and he placed my father in a military boarding school when he turned nine tenths which he would only leave when he was 18. This means that my father effectively grew up without his family, which led to him not having the family concept. In his opinion being a father doesn't carry any responsibilities, the father owes nothing to his children. None of my siblings grew up with my father, the ones from his first marriage because their mother was infidelity and they grew up with her and my sister also grew up with their mother. This has always meant that they envied the relation I had with my father and that they don't really get along with him, some of them can pass several months to a year without even speaking with him. At least one doctor is manic depressive, like a bipolar in steroids but my father has never seen treatment and won't allow anybody to even mention it. About two months ago my father came to me talking about what would happen if he died. I didn't find it strange as it is not the first time he wants to talk about it, and he told me that he would leave everything to me and my siblings but that he wanted to make me the manager of the company so that if he died I would be the one running this until the inheritance was dealt with. He said that he had made that offer to me and to his wife so that we would do it together but that she didn't want to take part in it. My father then backpedaled saying that I should become manager only in the summer when I finish high school because he wanted me to start actually running it and he felt that it would hinder my studies. Both of my brothers work in the company so if anything changed they would tell me. Regarding his marriage and inheritance, most couples in Portugal own their assets jointly but the law states that in any marriage in which one of the parties is older than 60 that nobody gets anything from the other in a divorce. The law also states that none of his children can be disinherited and that all children of his are owed a fair share in his will, which means that if any of us disagreed with the percentage of his assets that we were getting, the state would step in and sort it out, not her or any lawyer. When he told me he had gotten married I asked him if he had gotten insane and he told me not to worry that he didn't give a shit about the importance of marriage and that if he wanted to that would get rid of her in less than a second. About a month ago my father told me that she had to be rushed to the ER of Region Hospital because of mental issues. She stayed there for about a day and the doctors didn't want her to leave, he never touched on the matter again.